opportunity to work with GRTS so that I could help present shows or TV radio shows whereby the viewers and listeners are educated on this very important topic. Why I would like to carry out all these actions is because I want to become a role model to all the Gambian youths who I share the same dream with by showing them that we all have roles to play in the national development of this country and that we can be whoever we want to be and do whatever we want to do if we set our minds to it. And that is why I strongly believe in the parable that states that education is the key to life, success, power, wisdom, and knowledge. Thank you all so much for your kind attention. number 10 Ramona Eliza Vieira age 16 years we have contestant number 11 contestant number 11 welcome Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia, Her Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, Honorable Ministers, Chairperson, Panel of Judges, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, I greet you all with respect and honor. I am Tuti Koma, a 16-year-old girl of grade 10 arts, Amitage Senior Secondary School, Region 5. I am a Wolof, a Muslim, and a Gambian. My hobbies include reading novels, writing stories, and making friends. And my dislikes are gossiping, lying, and harassment. My ambition is to become a teacher, and my role model is Aya Fatula Minfei, the Minister of Basic and Secondary Education. I chose her because she is well educated with dignity and respect. My philosophy states that knowledge is power, that the more knowledgeable, the more powerful one becomes. And my platform is to advocate for the improvement of teachers' condition in service. because teachers are the second parents of students since they teach us what we knew not. And many graduated Gambians with good number of credits did not want to teach because they have the concept that teaching makes less money. But I would like to tell my fellow students who would like to be teachers in future that the knowledge you gain from teaching shall never go off because it is the process of giving out and taking in that is the teaching and learning. If I happen to be the winner of this competition, I will organize a club with my fellow students to carry out fundraising activities and help teachers whose houses are uncomfortable to stay. By buying some materials for maintenance and also going in groups to clean up their houses and surroundings, we can help them to live in a conducive and healthy environment and can also help us, the students, to have the best knowledge
privilege of this. I thank you all for your audience. I think she was a good ambassador for teachers. So teachers out there, give her your full support. We have contestant number 12. Contestant number 12. of the Gambia, Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, the Minister of Education, Her Excellency, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, and my fellow contestants, good evening to you all. My name is Miss Aisha Tumara, a grade 11 science student of Tahir Ahmadiyya Muslim Senior Secondary School. I am 17 years old representing Region 4. My hobbies include singing, dancing, and acting drama. My philosophy states that conduct your struggle through hard work, discipline, and dignity. My platform is to advocate for environmental waste management. As our population is rapidly on the increase, many of our urban communities are now experiencing the negative impact on sanitation and waste. This will steadily but surely erode all gains achieved in the recent years and will prevent our nation to attain its environmental health objectives of the Millennium Development Goals and Vision 2020. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Chef Professor Dr. al Haji Yahya Ejihijame, in his capacity as the Chairman of the National Environmental Management Council, signed the anti-military regulations into law on the 14th June 2007. Ladies and gentlemen, the smoke from dump sites pose more health threats to residents, passersby, etc. Dump sites provide a conducive environment for pests, rodents, and mosquitoes that claims hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of lives. The audience, if I happen to be a winner, effectively and tirelessly with youth groups, women couples, science clubs, peer health groups in my region to have sensitization programs on the effect on sanitation and waste in order to sustain a, in order to sustain a clean and healthy environment. I will conclude by saying that a healthy, a healthy nation is a wealthy nation. I thank you all for your